Hey, good afternoon, everybody, on this beautiful Tuesday. Uh, I'm here in um, outskirts of Asheboro, North Carolina, uh, where my husband is with other chaplains from all over uh, for a conference here. Beautiful area, beautiful retreat area. Uh, but I'm grateful to God that he has allowed me to join him and, uh, and be in this beautiful setting where I want to go ahead and start with our Tuesday talk on today. And I tell you the truth, it is absolutely gorgeous here. So if I keep looking around because I'm at a retreat, I'm at a wooded area, I want to make sure nothing approach me like critters. <laughs> so uh, that's why you may see me looking around. But I really want to come outside and just to enjoy this beauty. Uh, but let's uh, get started. Uh, today, our topic for today is religion versus relationship religion versus relationship and as i always do every um every week give you an encouraging word for the week and the encouraging word for the week is going to be found in luke uh chapter 10 verse 27 it says jesus says uh, you shall love the lord your god with all your heart with all your being with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself that is found luke chapter 10 verse 27 once again it says jesus said you shall love the lord your god with all your heart with all your being with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as you love yourself and let's just get started let's, let's talk about it oh, we're talking about uh religion versus relationship let me help you out um you know, there's a lot of religions in this world, a uh, lot of religions, a lot of different ones. And the bulk of us, the uh, the largest religion in this world is Christianity. And that's, just, that's what uh, we follow. We follow uh, Christianity uh, that hits a lot of different uh, specifics. Uh, the Baptist, the uh, Methodist, the Presbyterian, the Lutheran, uh, Catholics. Uh, just to name a few, it hits a lot of areas, but all of the us follow, follow under the umbrella of Christianity. And, and Christianity is, 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 is basically, uh, the, we follow Christ, we follow his teachings, and we um, follow his uh, guidance and his command. And the, the one thing I did learn about um, why I chose, and it's a choice, uh, why I chose to follow Christianity is because I do want to learn more about God, about his teaching, uh, about what Jesus means to us. And uh, the death, the death, the uh, burial, the resurrection of Christ. I wanted to learn all that. So I chose, because it's a choice, I chose to follow uh, Christianity, which is basically to be Christ-like. So, and, but we're going to talk about the difference between uh, religion and uh, relationship and one thing I learned uh, that our religion Christianity uh, we must go through we must go through uh, and move into a relationship uh, hear me good we must go through and 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 move into a relationship uh, to the one we say uh, we're following Okay, and and that is uh, in the person of Jesus Christ and our relationship with God must be nurtured hear me good it must be nurtured uh, this is where attending church comes in uh, your personal Bible study at home uh, coming together in a church atmosphere with fellow believers uh, this is where that comes in because Christianity uh, in order for you to have a strong relationship you have to nurture your relationship with Christ please please understand that understand that and, and one uh, one thing I can say about religion uh, religion can be can make one bitter because we have so many different ones and a lot of people can get confused on who they want to follow we have those who choose Muslim Buddhism uh, Jehovah's Witness you know they this is the all the different other uh, religions that's out here in the world so once again I'm one of those people that I believe in a choice that you make uh, but it can make one bitter because we have so many and there are people there are people that's out there uh, in the world who are educated well versed in theology and and, and 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 they know the history of Christianity and even other religions you know uh, but they have deep pain and and regret and that uh, uh, the that regret that uh, hurt 
uh, people get when 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 they're in a church setting and 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 because uh they've been hurt they've been afflicted on others and they they uh, are real not realizing now that they need uh strength for healing because they've been as some people say church hurt well I'm, I'm not a fan of that term but a lot of people use that term uh those people when you start looking at people that or uh, uh, church hurt or been hurt by someone in the church, uh, they begin to look at um, uh, not attending or their relationship with Christ. Sometimes it takes a hit. Uh, even your faith takes a hit sometimes. So a lot of times you have to realize that people are going to be people. Uh, people are not perfect. Uh, none of us are. All of us are striving to be perfect, so we have to make sure that we don't allow people to to blemish or to tear us down or to uh, uh, show uh, us to, to where we have a lack of faith and and it's particularly our relationship with Christ. We want to make sure that that we don't get knocked down by the bullies uh, in the religious world, if I if I can say that. So when we look at religion, we have to make sure that it is what it is. Religion is that thing is is that uh christianity which is our religion is who we choose to follow is what we choose to follow and we got to make sure that we follow the the commandments the the teachings of christ and all the things that he represents that's why we chose to follow him now as committed followers as committed followers of Christ, we're trying to live. We're trying our best, y'all. We're trying our best to live our lives following his commandments and to be his hands and feet on earth. I need to say that again. We're trying our best. We're trying our best to live according to his commandments and, and to be the hands and the feet of, of Jesus on earth. This is why he tells us in Matthew that we are to go ye therefore. He wasn't just talking to the disciples back then. He's talking to all of us who have chosen to follow him. To go ye therefore and to teach all nations. To baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. To teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I command. This is what Jesus commanded us to do. And But the promise is that he will be with us always even to the very end of the earth. So so we're, we're trying our very best to be the hands and the feet of God. Of Christ so that means that in order for us to be the hands and feet of Christ we have to simplify and show who we truly follow you can't say I follow God I follow Christ uh, in one way and people see you do something totally different from what you say that's that's a mix-up that's why a lot of times people when they look at religion versus relationship because if I I, 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 I have a religion of following Christianity but I have a relationship with Christ that let people know that I'm a true believer, born again believer of who I say I follow, which is Jesus Christ. So, and, and I'm also one of those two that believe in that uh, you don't have to look beat up to be to be a Christian, to be a believer. You know, sometimes I see people who said they are followers of Christ and then the world look at them, they all beat down. They just beat up like from head to toe. Like, and then you got the world looking at you, what in the world is going on with you? I thought you follow Christ and this is how you look. Not to say you got to be dressed up real glamorous, but there should be something about your outer appearance that show the people that who you serve that lives inside of you. you so you don't have to look like you're beat up by the world and beat up by those who uh, 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 have have taunted you and have, have messed your mind up. You need to shake that mess off. And and, and people that, that may not uh, understand who you are because you have chosen to follow Christ, uh, that's okay. Let them let them have their day. That's fine. But you know who you follow. But you know you need to exemplify something on the outside to let them know. Yeah, you may talk about me. Yeah, you may scandalize my name. But I'm still gonna follow who I say I'm gonna follow, which is Jesus Christ. Now, religion religion uh, can be very different. Can be de very different than having a relationship uh, with God through Jesus Christ. We understand that. And Christianity is the religion. It's the religion most of us follow. That means, like I said earlier, we want to be Christ-like. We want to be Christ-like. And we have chosen the teachings and the commandments of Jesus Christ. This is what we chose. Okay, When we said that uh, we get, we went down, to, as, as they will say, went down and gave the pastor our hand and we gave Jesus our heart. When we gave Jesus our heart, we made that conscious decision to follow his teachings and to follow and to be more like him.
And because uh, I've personally chosen to follow Jesus Christ, I'm talking about me now, I personally cho uh, uh, ch uh, have chosen to follow him and, and has professed to him to be my Lord and Savior, I have formed a relationship with him. You don't just say, I love Jesus. I know he loves me. You need to form a relationship with him. It's more than just doing lip service. And a lot of times we have a lot of people that shows lip service. That's why a lot, That's why when we start talking about I was talking with my granddaughter earlier. And she's in that generation, the upper generation Z, close to millennial age. And one of the things we, she and I was talking about before I came on uh, was uh, the, uh, how, she, as she put it, the older generation, they, they are expecting a lot of things and expecting their group to do some of the same things that, that we did way back when we found God uh, or do some of the churchy things or, as she would call it, the rules and regulations of church that turns her off. And I'm, I, and baby, I said, keep talking about. It. I said because you give me a lot of, lot of good things because that's what turns them off. All the church rules, the church rituals, uh, all the church bylaws, all the things that you so you did way back when your mama was. Uh, 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 beginning in church when your grandmama was beginning church and your great grandmama and then and we expect the generation z the millennials to do the same thing not so that's not going to happen i think a lot of times we tend to forget that when christ said that he uh, come that we may have life and we may have life more abundantly a lot of times some of us think that that means that we have the abundant life once we get to heaven not so the abundant life is now Christ said that he came that we may have life and life more abundantly now. What does that mean? What does that mean for me? That means I enjoy uh, doing things and uh, going places and enjoying times with family and laughing and, and, and just kidding around. I enjoy every now and then a glass of wine with my dinner. Ooh, I may shock some people like that, uh, about that. But I enjoy that. I'm not a drunk, but I enjoy every now and then a glass of wine with my dinner. And I'm still saved. So, you know, so when, when, when our generation, generation Z group and the millennials group see that we can enjoy the goodness of God and enjoy ourselves without getting ridiculous, without uh, uh, dropping it like it's hot or uh overindulging in anything what is drinking or eating or whatever when they begin to see how we truly love god in a manner where we can enjoy life this is when we're going to be able to reach them until then uh we don't have to be and i want to make sure i'm saying this uh uh, uh correctly because I'm, I'm talking about religion versus relationship i have a strong relationship with christ i have a strong one uh do i find myself in church 24 7 no do I find myself in the house of God every time the doors of the of, of the church house open up? No. Why I, am I uh, maybe confusing some of you? Let me explain. Let, let me help you out. We need a balance, people of God. We need a balance. There's times when you when you need to serve God in the church setting. And when the doors are like, I'm, I'm a strong believer of attending the Lord's house on Sundays. I'm a strong believer. I'm a strong believer of attending the Lord's house doing Bible study, uh, Sunday school. That's the, the Bible study in the Sunday school is the teaching moment. I'm a strong believer in that. But every time the doors of the church open up or any other little thing, we ain't got to run to the doors and, 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 and say, oh, I got to be there. Oh, because they're having something tonight for, at the church. Oh, let me hurry up. Let me, let me get there because they're having something. This time I need to spend time with my family. This time I want to spend time with my husband. And I'm still saved. See, I want you to understand. So, so when, when we begin to put so much effort in uh, uh, trying to look uh, uh, religious or trying to say that we have a strong relationship by doing works or, or pretending to do the work, we've missed the mark. We, I, I, I'm, I'm, let me talk to you more about that. We, we, we've missed the mark because um, we have to make sure that we place all of our faith all of our faith in, in, the, in the one who say we trust, the one who died on the cross for us. We have to put our total faith in him. And, and, and you have to understand, like, religion uh, to, 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 to some means self-effort. Uh, 
This is religion now. To some people, it means self-effort and works. Uh, what I do to try to get to heaven. That's religion. What I need to do to get to heaven. Uh, diligent work and, and, and uh, work with, with hope of a reward in heaven. This is religion now. Uh, uh, good, honest effort, as we call it, through self-determination and self-motivation and control, trying to work our way into heaven. Yeah. Now, relationship, however, is a salvation through faith in Jesus Christ and trusting him fully. Trusting him fully, then live the life to please him. Okay, uh, confess my sins, confess thy sins, repent, and yield myself to Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit that works in me uh, and, and works uh, to guide me in the way I'm supposed to go. That's relationship. You can't work your way into heaven. We're not good enough. We can't work hard enough to make it to heaven. Let me help you out. The things that I do in God's house, I do it because I'm saved, not to get saved. Uh, you understand me real good? What I do for God in his house and even by witnessing to others is because I'm saved. There are some people that try to witness to people, read the, read the Bible and witness to people and don't have a clue about their relationship with Christ. If you, act, if you was to ask them. Well, I'm trying to make it to heaven. Okay, but what about your relationship? Well, you know, I, I, I read my word every day. Okay, but what about your relationship? Well, you know, I go to church every Sunday. Okay, but what about your relationship? Well, I attend Bible study and I attend Sunday school. Okay, but what about your relationship with him? See, all those other things sounds good. But what about your relationship with him? Meaning that... God knows, he knows what my heart is feeling and he understands that if I say, God, I, I, I want to spend this time with, with, with my husband today and, and we want to take a trip and just enjoy uh, one another. Because my relationship is strong with him, he's going to say, I understand, daughter. Go and enjoy yourself with your husband. I tell you all this because one of the things that I did and I made the, big, made the biggest mistake when I first got married was, well, I felt like that I had to be at every choir rehearsal. I had to be at every church service. It was revivals or, or, or every union meeting, everything. Every time the doors of the church was open, I was walking up in it. And one day, I and mean, then several times, that my husband would say, baby, can we go to the movies? Well, you know, I got rehearsal tonight. Okay. Baby, can we go uh, uh, hit this new restaurant at that one? You know, we got something going on at the church. Okay. And what I did was I pushed him on further out into sin. So when he got saved, when he got saved and he came to me, and I've told this story before, he came to me, he said, baby, if you want to leave me now, and, and crying, if you want to leave me now, you can leave me. I said, the devil is a lie. All those years I prayed for you to be saved, and, and, and now I'm, I'm, I'm reaping what I prayed for? Oh, no. But I had to turn around and apologize to him. He thought it was strange. I said, no, let me apologize to you. Because God had to smack me all up in my face and tell me, every time you were saying, I needed to go here, I need to go there, I didn't tell you that. You told yourself that. To make it seem like that, I, you doing all this stuff to please me. A lot of stuff that I was doing wasn't pleasing God; it was pleasing myself. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So, so I, 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 I have to have peace. I have to have peace and have to enjoy love and joy, uh, freedom, victory, power, uh, eternal life in heaven. I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to see Jesus one day, and I'm going to enjoy my life. Why? Because I have that relationship with Him. And it's more than just my religion, okay? Now, man's way, man's way uh, to reach God uh, is religion. Let me, let me say it again. Man's way to, relate, to reach God is religion. But God's way to reach man is Jesus. I need to say that one more time. Boy, when, I, when I read that, I'm, oh, my God. Man's way to reach God is religion. But God's way to reach man is through his son, Jesus. 
and having a relationship with him. Because John 14 and 6 says, uh, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. That's John 14 and 6. You can't reach our Father God unless you go through Jesus. Okay? And uh, also, uh, uh, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says, For it is uh, by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourself. It is the gift of God, not by works. Not by works. So that no one can boast. We have been saved through faith. And it is a gift. It is a gift. I, I just want everybody to understand uh, between religion and relationship. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus, you need to start this process over. You need to start this process over, okay? I, I come to understand, y'all. I come to understand that we must have balance. Whew, we. we must have balance. Let me help you out. Every single person that's listening now through this, and every single person that's on the face of this planet is an ex-something. We have done something that was totally out of the will of God. All have sinned, the Bible said, and come short of the glory of God. So all of us is an ex-something. And when we found Christ, and when Christ found us, and we accepted him, it, it, it had to come to a point to where we had to learn how to balance our life. Do you understand that Christ sanctions the family? God sanctions the family. And when you spend time with your family, look, I'm not giving anybody a, 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 a card to say, spend all the time you can with your family 100% and leave God out the picture. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is we have to have a balance and stop using the excuse that I used to use. When my husband asked me, he wants to spend time with me, and I use the excuse where I have to go to church for this and this and this and this. Stop that. Stop using that excuse. Because it can drive a wedge between you and your mate, or you and your children, or you and your grandchildren, because you don't spend quality time. God sanctions the family. And he wants us to have balance. He wants us to have balance, okay? I read an article. I read an article, and I think I had put this in a message one time, but I read an article that says religion is a guy in church thinking about fishing. Where relationship is a guy out fishing thinking about church, or thinking about God, excuse me. Let, me. let me say that again. Religion is a guy in church thinking about fishing, but relationship is a guy out fishing thinking about God. There's a difference. There's a difference, okay? Uh, and, and you want to know why? You want to know why we've missed the mark uh, of our Generation Z? And you know, I talked to you about uh, uh, my granddaughter's age group and the millennials uh, about not coming to church. We have spent more time telling them a lot of things that they cannot do in the church instead of explaining to them what they can do in church. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, we spent more time explaining to them you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't wear that. You shouldn't go there. You shouldn't say that. Instead of telling them what they're able to do in church. What ideas do you have? What do you think we need to do for your generation? How can we help you uh, 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 do certain things that will bring your peers in? We don't talk to them like that. Because we're too busy as, uh, telling them what they can't do. Well, you know, we didn't do this way back then. They don't care what we did way back then. Why would my... 22 year old granddaughter care what I did back when I was her age why would she care about that I'm not 22 anymore and what we did when I was 22 is a whole lot different with her you know she's getting ready to graduate from college and I want her to have the best of life I want to have the best of life but I want her to understand her relationship with Christ means more I want her to understand that, that she don't have to do anything from what, like, as she explained to me earlier, she's, you know, Nana, uh, we can't do the things back with the, what you guys did back then, nor do we want to. I wouldn't want that for her. Honey, I can't even remember what I did way back then, but I know that it's, it's going to be something uh, different for her than what I had. We have to have, we have, to have a balance. 
We have to have a balance. And there's a lot of people think that Christianity is, is you doing all the righteous things you hate and avoiding all the wicked things you love in order to go to heaven. No. That person is lost in their religion. Okay? Uh, a Christian is a person. It's a person whose heart has been changed. They have new affections and new love. When I became a Christian, uh, as, as 2 Corinthians, I think, 5 and 17 says, old things passed away. Behold, all things become new. When I became a Christian, I understood what that meant. I don't repeat the things that I did back then. When I became a Christian, when I became a follower of Christ, I don't repeat what I did back in the day. Because why? Because my heart was changed. So if, if, if I'm changed, I'm a new person. I'm not going to repeat those old habits. Why would I want to? So uh, if, if we look at that again, like I said, it's the Christian is, is a person whose heart has changed. And religion teaches you that you have to do, uh, let's say, Christianity that says that you can't do it. You have to trust in, um, uh, in the one uh, who has done it for you. I'm going to read that again. It said, religion teaches you that you have to. The religion teaches you that you have to. But Christianity says that you can't do, you have to trust in the one who has done it for you. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Religion teaches us that you have to do this. Uh, you have to go to church. Uh, you have to make sure you meet this and go to this meeting. You have to do this because man is looking at you. If you don't do this, man will look at you a different way. But Christianity teaches you that you can't do it without the one who has done it for you. That's a big difference, big difference. And see, with, with our religion, with our religion, Christianity is the only religion in the world that teaches a uh, work that's based on salvation. Uh, once again, like I told you earlier, I work in the church because I'm saved, not to get saved. We can't do enough. We can't do enough. So, so understand with the Christianity, the religion, it's a religion, but as believers, we treat it as a relationship. Our, our, our religion is what we follow, which is Christianity. To be Christ-like, we follow his, Christ's teaching and his commandments. That's, that's our religion. But as believers, we treat it as a relationship with him because we've chosen to follow him and his ways and his teaching. And some people say that, that Jesus hate religion. No, he don't hate religion. He hate hypocrisy. He, have a, he hates a hypocrite. He don't hate religion. He hates a hypocrite. I want you to I want you to understand. Uh, he hates false teachings. He he hates uh, uh, people who try to appear religious to show off. He don't like that. So he he doesn't hate religion. He hates your uh, hypocritic self. You, you you're a hypocrite. He hates that. In other words, uh, we need to be real. As the old song would say, everything we do for the master, let it be real. See, we need to be real and and do what we and be who we say we are, and do what we say we are, and and not be so much of a show off. Guess what? People can people can see fake. You know, it's not one of those where people uh, don't quite understand who you are. People can look at fake. We live in a world now where all it takes is just a look. It's not judgmental, you know, but the Bible tells us that we ought to uh, uh, look at the fruit. Because that's why my husband and I, we tell people all the time, we're fruit inspectors. We watch your fruit. Okay? You know, if you don't follow Galatians 5, uh, 22, and the fruit of the Spirit, all of those uh, components of that fruit, it's not an S on it, the word fruit is fruit. Uh, we look at the people, we look for the love, the joy, the peace, the long-suffering, the meekness. Yeah, we, we look for those uh, fruit in you. If you say you love God, 
you must you must exemplify those fruit. So as I get ready to close, um, be careful of religion without relationship. Be careful that you are how they say it, so heavenly minded that you know earthly good on some things. Um, make sure that you understand the religion that you follow, which is Christianity. And we follow, and that word Christianity basically means Christ like that we follow the teachings and the commandment of Jesus Christ, who, who we have chosen to follow. That's why we are Christians. But make sure that there's a balance um, when it comes to uh, your relationship with Christ. So Christianity is uh, the religion, but as believers, we treat it as a relationship with Christ because we do have a relationship with him. We should. We must. And because of our relationship with him, he's going to show us and he's going to guide us and he's going to keep us walking that path uh, to where the world will see that we truly who we say we are, that the greatest he that's within us that is, is he that's in the world, that we no longer follow we no longer follow the patterns of the world. That word church, like when we, we're the church, we talk about us, the individual as the church. That word church basically means that we came out from among the world. We came out from among the sin. So we're the church, so we no longer follow the patterns of the world. But there has to be a balance. Make sure you show the balance in your life. Enjoy time, especially with Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Enjoy time with your family because he sanctions the family. And enjoy time loving you, loving yourselves. Especially love your neighbors as you love yourself. Those are commandments that God look at. If, if you uh, say you love God, you're going to keep those commandments that you're going to uh, love him with all your heart, your mind, and your soul. And you're going to love your neighbor as you love yourself. I don't know anyone that hates themselves. So love love everyone. Love everyone. Uh, thank you guys for listening. And once again, as we always tell you, make sure you share this uh, uh, message in, on your personal Facebook page. Uh, I do have a Talk With T uh, Facebook page. Just type in Talk With T if you don't mind liking that page. Um, also, we always tell people to also uh, like our Devoted to Him, follow our Devoted to Him page as well on Facebook. We also own a Spotify podcast for those who are listening now. Thank you so much for those who have chimed in on that uh, platform as well. Guys, we love you so much and pray much for us. Pray for the rest of this conference here for all the chaplains. Uh, our plan is to be returning back to Spartanburg uh, sometime tomorrow evening. So pray much for us for our travel uh, back home. Uh, thank you guys so much. You enjoy your day too as well, Tom. Love you, girl. Love all of you. Love all of you for tuning in. Uh, once again, uh, make sure you uh, share this on your personal Facebook page for me if you don't mind. Let's pray. Gracious Father, we thank you once again. Thank you for this gorgeous, beautiful day that you have allowed us to first see that you woke us up this morning on time. God, thank you so much for allowing uh, the serenity of this place to be the backdrop for our Tuesday talk on today. Now, God, help us to understand uh, our religion versus our relationship with you. God, help us to understand that religion is what we choose to follow, which is Christianity. And our relationship with you is that we know you and you know us quite well. And we uh, have made you Lord and Savior of our lives. That's the relationship that we have with you because we trust you in everything. Now, God, we say allow us to enjoy the rest of our day. Uh, for us to spend time whether it's working or spend time with family or if we have um, a church function is make sure that we have a balance in our life god we love you we thank you so much always for being the center of our joy and the joy of our strength we lift up all those families who's going through bereavement uh, my family uh, other families uh, i may not be aware of but we ask that you continue to strengthen like you only only that you can uh continue to bless those who are sick uh, the bereaved, the carelessly unconcerned, and especially those who don't even know you from the free pardon of their sins. God, we ask you to nudge them in a way to help them to understand that every knee will bow one day and every tongue will confess that you are Lord. It is in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Love you guys so much.